The Taliban is banning PUBG from promoting for promoting violence, quote unquote, promoting violence. Uh, you know, highly religious uh, extremists taking over, took over Afghanistan when the U.S. pulled out. Censorship, very common in religious extremism. We say we see shades of that exact same thing in the United States, in very red states where it's very much Christian nationalists uh, really feeling empowered and uh, becoming fascist governments, uh, removing uh, works of literature, school books, uh, censoring the existence of people's like the existence of gay people at all. I talked about a story how Saudi Arabia is censoring Netflix, wanting them to take down uh, their LGBTQ-friendly content, uh, comparing that to very similar thing to what uh, different red states are doing, trying to make the existence of being on any kind of sexual str spectrum other than straight, making all the other possible identities and realities people could live as being disgusting or harmful in some ways to their kids uh, blaming art blaming writing for the reasons of the society being having issues right that's conservatives have been blaming art and wanting to censor art forever it's blaming music blaming video games blaming movies, blaming literature. Throughout time, conservatives have blamed art for the downfalls of society, for crime, for behaviors, versus art being an expression of, of life, right? The life imitating art, art imitating life argument, chicken or the egg argument. Right? A lot of conservatives want to blame violent video games and violent movies for mass shootings, despite the fact that every country on the world has access to those same movies and same video games. And a lot of times, like Japan, way more violent, like hyper-violent in some situations in some countries. And the reason why they don't have the issues that we have with mass shootings is because we protect guns and gun manufacturers more than anything in this country. As if God himself bestowed humans with the ability to carry and fire a gun. As if it's God's will to own a gun. Having access to a tool that makes the most pathetic humans capable of the most disgusting things. That's the problem. The access to tools specifically designed to end life effortlessly. So people are using those tools because they are the, designed for the, the, the act that they want to perform. That's why those tools are being used. And then they want to blame stuff like this. So seeing the Taliban, which is kind of ironic... In both situations, because in America, you had January 6th, where we saw conservatives be violent. And they want to blame the violent acts that happened during the Black Lives Matter protests on the left. Meanwhile, the people found to have vandalized and burned down and caused destruction during those protests we're all right-wing people who are associated with groups like the Proud Boys and the Boogaloo Boys and all the, all the right-wing hate groups, right? They took an opportunity to cause destruction, to try and blame a thing on what was a peaceful protest where people were getting beat up and shot and in some cases killed by police during protests against police violence. So it's it's ironic. Uh, I mean, it's 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 like a duh. This is what this is what like if America 
becomes a Christian nationalist country. They install Trump as a dictator, which they would love to do. This would 100% be a thing that they would do. They would go through and start labeling and making things that they disagree with illegal. S pointing the finger at those things as the reason for societal problems. Not poverty, which is really the major cause of most crime, is poverty. But they want to censor art. Because they only want the one and only book that they want people to read and narrative they want people to be brainwashed and indoctrinated into is whatever version of the Bible that they worship and whatever passages in the Bible they choose to use to justify their behaviors. So the Dal Taliban banning PUBG, you know, not much different, not much different than, you know, than the conservatives pulling history books off the shelf because it they talk about uh you know the nazis being bad or slavery being bad like actually teaching actual history or acknowledging that there's a spectrum of sexual preferences other than straight there are people that live an infinite amount of different types of lifestyles that they don't agree with and don't think should be exposed to anybody. But they sell it as we're protecting the kids, which is just, you know, it's bullshit. They just, they, they're just mad that they can't brainwash their kids and indoctrinate their kids into the same bullshit that they worship and believe and are brainwashed into. They want to pass that trauma down to their kids. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.